Right, we're at a place called The Tap House in Mansfield today, which um, I actually have been to before. They used to do a breakfast challenge here um, a few years ago. They don't do that now, but they do have a burger challenge. Holy Look at all that meat! Got a special guest with me today in the, in the shape of that sweary personal trainer guy from the internet, James Smith. Grade A stains ball bag who thinks he can eat the burger quicker than me so we're gonna find out don't want to keep him waiting though because he's quite a large man quite intimidating so uh we'll, we'll get in the shadow the run Give, give you really need it. Give him the smaller one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm here with James Smith, good mate of mine for the last two hours or so. And uh, we're doing a, a burger challenge at a place called The Tap House in Mansfield, which I just said about 10 seconds ago. This fine fellow over here is going to tell us the rules. So you've got 30 minutes to eat the entire burger in it. You're not allowed to stand up and go to the toilet. Let me know when you want to begin. You get, a, uh, you get, you get the meal free in a t-shirt? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise it's 55 pounds. 55? Sorry, because James is paying. <laughs> Things are going well for him, you know. Cost of living is much easier in Australia, I'm told. Three, two, one, go! Right, save that for a second. I've been watching his videos. I think you just got to play what's in front of you. Roll with the punches. By the looks of it, I need to separate this up. If I were you, I'd eat the most difficult thing to eat first, so that we quite heavy meat. From a psychological standpoint, you gotta, you gotta spread it out a bit. I could regret ever watching your videos in, in about 10 minutes. I've got a sneaky suspicion we might both lose this one, actually. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm the only one insured on the car as well, so if I fall asleep at the wheel, you know. <laughs> It could use a little bit of sauce. I don't even want to think about the calories. The poor guy's flying home tomorrow. Mm. Imagine flying home with all that still in you. You might have to get the copyright for Simon and Garfunkel. Hello darkness, my old friend. We could probably use a two, three second clip of that. That's probably fair use. Fair use. You wouldn't normally find sausages in a burger, would you? It's got to be said, who put sausages in a burger? There's an agenda. <laughs> I think there might be. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm in unfamiliar territory. I usually help people with eating less. <laughs> new year, new me, all that. Oh, God. My family could end up watching this. I don't know what I'm thinking. They raised someone that wasn't willing to push the limit. Has anyone ever died from an exploding stomach? Yes, but only in cases where they either had a condition like an ulcer or if there was, um, you know, an external factor like a knife wound to the stomach or something like that. Humans are hard to kill. Repeat. Humans are hard to kill. <laughs> I could be at home with my family right now. Where are we? Mansfield. <laughs> Never been here before, we'll never come here again. <laughs> 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes? Yeah, Justin. Oh, you have a 20, still 20. Easy, light work. <laughs> when does the main course come? <laughs> that looks halfway between an onion ring and an onion bhaji to me. <laughs> You're a bit yellow, aren't you? Can I please get <clears throat> another Diet Pepsi? It's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> I felt reasonably confident coming into it until I saw it come out of the kitchen. I brought James a, a, a present I thought you might appreciate. You love those guys, don't you? Oh, right. Not a big fan of Prime? Oh, um, that's perfect. Actually. You're contractually not allowed to be in a photograph with, uh, with a, a bottle of Prime. What's your drink called? New tonic. Go, go buy that instead. Every which road I look down now is just pure sadness. Hello, darkness, cloud. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a lot of food this chain, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's quite a bit. You're performing manfully there. I'm not going to give up. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. That means we're halfway. Maybe I need 
need to change your scenery. <laughs> Is that you denying the fact that coleslaw exists under the chicken breast? A gentleman's agreement. There's cracks in this sofa. I think we're known for our honesty, aren't we? Isn't that our, that's our only, um, our only real selling point? I'm not sure we could cheat. Joe Wicks, he wouldn't be able to do this, would he? I'm fairly certain Joe Wicks would not be able to. Not to have anything against the, uh, what does he call himself, the body coach. My sister loves him, so I can't really. But she also likes Harry Styles, so. I don't care what everyone says about Joe Wicks, I think he's all right. <laughs> Pardon me, I was tempted to impale myself on this, so I've got a reason to leave. I might fake a sneeze and catch my own on the road. Gotta go. We could probably CGI that, couldn't we? Nope. Eight minutes left, seven and half. <coughs> the spike is looking quite tempting. For more reasons than one. I did more patties, I reckon. They were like, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Adam, sure, but they realised the real threat. They went, James Smith, the singer. No, the other one. <laughs> He's coming. Get the other grill on. When I told him you were coming, she actually did say who. <laughs> Sorry to do you like that live, but like... Uh, that's more than my stomach. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Coleslaw tostada. You've got this. <laughs> Quite the consistency. That's been, that's been packed. You can force people to eat this to get top secrets out of them. You might have beaten me here, chef. Not sure I can take it anymore. 90 seconds to go. I think I'm gonna lose. At least I won't forget this. It'll be a memorable day. <laughs> Ten seconds. Yes. Well, you got this. Nine. Five, four, three, two, one. Fail. Perfectly synchronized countdown there. Well, well done. <laughs> I don't mind clapping. Well done, James. Thank you. Sorry, I don't really think. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Mate, it's Christmas time, man. I wasn't ready for it. I know, I thought I had it, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Ready for dessert? Ready for dessert. I'll, I'll take some dessert. What do you got? <sighs> I, I don't really feel like I deserve it, but I think I'm going to get the Irish cream tart. Can I get a trio of ice cream, please? Look, how, look at how smug they're looking at us. I'm not, it's not, I'm, not <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. So technically, you're, you've done the best. I've done the second best. So if there was a wall, it would be one and two. <laughs> So we know. One and two on the wall of, uh, of fame still, I think. No, shame, yeah, sorry. One and two on the wall of shame. Is that because you guys have gone for a good attempt? Yeah. No, we don't deserve it, man. We don't deserve it. We do. But I'll you take it. wash it all down. There you go. I'm sure they'll be handy to take that to Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Always. I've always wanted a stein. I thought he was offering us a pint at first. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah fill it up, man. You don't deserve it. Oh, thank you, sir. You Cheers, chef. Enjoy. Is that friends. like the olive branch? <laughs> yeah. We're friends again now. <laughs> <laughs> right, James, thanks for coming on the channel. Appreciate it. Don't feel the need to finish the ice cream, even though I'm paying. And if you want to see James back on the channel again so we can both fail another food challenge simultaneously, let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll do better next time, I promise. Oh, go watch James' channel. It's got loads of you know informative stuff on there, and he doesn't sell stuff other than his own products. Yeah.